Hello everybody. I really don't have all that much to do right now, and I don't feel like watching any more Spirit Science. I really should, but hey, not right now. So what am I going to do instead? I'm going to watch Transformers Dark of the Moon. I'm actually not convinced that this is an improvement over Spirit Science. Hopefully most of you know that I am a huge Transformers fan. Do I need to show my collection off to my left-hand side again? <sighs> I actually even did kind of like the first Transformers movie, as in the one by Michael Bay. Of course, I like the, the cartoon as well, but that's another thing. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, however, is on my list of worst movies I've ever paid to see. I loathed that film so much that I have not yet watched Transformers Dark of the Moon. I refused to go to see this in theater. But yet, here I am. I have a copy. No money of mine went towards this copy. And I'm gonna watch it. I've got a 9.6% stout, another 5% on standby, and if that doesn't work, I still have my Jura and a fridge full of other alcohol. <sighs> I hope you enjoy my agony when I get around to editing this. Destination top secret. We believe a UFO has crashed into the moon. We think the Russians are up to it as well. Well, then you tell NASA to move heaven and earth. We need to get to the moon. We're going to attempt to man That the wasn't JFK. It'll take five years. You get there before the Russians. It doesn't even look like him. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the, the black and white photo the black and white video there. It was clearly JFK and he's showing it again. Ignition sequence start. And it means somebody doesn't even really look like JFK. I'll admit that's a bit big. Signs of life anywhere. These things are massive. Well, considering it's been got, reached to the. You've got seven minutes on your oxygen. Vacuum of space. Not all, are we? How would you expect to find no, life, at least as you know it, on the ship? Oh, look. The gratuitous ass shot. My hero. To wake up. <laughs> oh yeah, my metal. Yeah, no. Can you get this me? No. No. No, 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 no. Prisoner of the States. <laughs> hey, it's hard for everybody to get a job. I don't have time. You see, my parents are gonna be here in a week on their road trip party bus world tour. My dad gets here and I don't have a job. He's gonna spank you. You know, it's go time for me. Alright, tonight. I'll He's go gonna out. spank you. You're. T Romance. How old are you? And, um, 20 something? Get out of here! Whoa! 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 Oh, uh, and here we are onto the parts of this movie I could hate. You're not at the love word yet. Maybe a little bit closer when you're covering your heart with the red. Goodbye. <laughs> I should have seen this one. Someone would spot those nuts. You know, Sam, I don't know about moving in with this chick. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. She's like the last girl. Spock. You like her. Let it be in this. decommissioned facilities, a discovery was made, which I fear may be alien in nature. The facility's name is Chernobyl. Bullshit! That doesn't look like radiation gear. This is 
supposed to be laser beak? Imagine working with you. You have a very trustworthy face. You remind me of like a an Asian Colonel Sanders, a man I can trust. He's a millennial. That means they're the you know like lost. Uh, Why was the FBI looking for you? The what? Yeah, FBI. Good, you flagged that. You was doing all that alien craziness when you were fourteen. I mean, they were very kind to me. Found me a jiffy, uh, and that's all been expunged. Obama gave me medal, actually. I'm just saying, it's always good to have a, a metal guy in the office with a medal. From Obama? Yeah. In this office, we're mostly Republicans. So. <sighs> I feel like it's like, not no, sick. Why don't you get a little dip? Senator, I suggest you remember that when the NSA weren't spunking, they call me. When the CIA is going to take out a target, they ask first for my permission. And when the president wants to know which members of Congress are politically vulnerable in terms of, a, let's say, undiscovered criminal conduct, I'm the number he dials. U.S. agencies say they've been monitoring the blast, but if in fact the this fuck was the point of the shoes? No nation. This gun is the perfect invention. I am I drive. Oh, good. Well, here, my name's Q. I do hope you have answers for him. I've never seen him so upset. Optimus, you remember Charlotte? The Marine? hell? The director of national intelligence. It was director-only clearance at Sector Seven until now. The bag. Air Mesper can green ostrich. Oh, for fuck's sake. And by the way, the Transformers were not teenagers. And you are still remain alive. Allow me to please introduce to you two of NASA's founding mission directors and astronaut Dr. Buzz Aldrin, one of the first two men to step foot on the moon. Sir? Optimus Prime. And from a fellow space traveler, it's a true honor. The honor is mine. Our entire space race Buzz. in the 1960s, it appears was in response to an event. Why? It was carrying an Autobot technology which would have won us the war. Question. If it could have won them the war, why were they sending it off planet? Hi, I'm here to see Carly Spencer. Carly has told me a lot about you. Well, vice versa. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful building, you guys. There's a Starship Enterprise in here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, and God. Lee, Not another Star Trek reference. Collection. It was just a complete 165 Cabriolet. Designed by a Frenchman. Look at the curves. Elegant, isn't it? Beautiful. Sensual. Built to evoke the body of the ideal woman. Come on. Subtle, eh? Gotcha. Let's roll. What's the point of the rovers? Jerry. May I finish my show? Milk? Donnie. I don't care about your exotic milk. I care about respect. Boring! Stupid! I know who you are. I mean, you I'm talking to you. Thank you. I'm a little slow down, Tiger. You showed up in the back of six different photos, two curtains with aliens. That was you in Egypt, huh? Right? Because you know the aliens. See ya. My child. Deep Wang. Deep Wang. You're not getting it. Deep throat. Watergate? Tucker told you! Damn it! Fuck you, Michael Bay! I can't go to the government, but you, you can. Because shit's going down, son. It is code pink, as in Floyd. Dark side. Why do you think no one's been up there since 1972? You're just speaking English. I just, it's a very strange English. That's why I'm not. Oh, oh, don't. 
I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you right back, sir. My manifesto. I'm back in this out. Everyone who knows what's on the dark. Now your friends are in danger. You know the good ones is up to you. Fuck you, Michael Bay! What are you looking at? Yo, dog. Are you looking at my shit? What are you looking for? Stare down, you and me. Guess I won. This is exceedingly Japanese. They never make it easy, dog. It's Japanese. Really? It is the ability to reshape the universe. Together the pillars form a space bridge. I designed, and I alone can control it. It defies no laws of physics to transport matter through time and space. You're talking about a teleportation device, aren't you? Yes, for resources. Let's not for get into the problems with that. Or to find the laws of physics, that is. Maybe bombs. A means of an instant strike. That's its military function. My next guest is a former American intelligence operative who has dared to speak out regarding our alleged military alliance with what many describe as a group of extra-terrestrial mercenaries. He is the author oh, of the best-selling book, sake. Codename Hero, former Special Agent Seymour Simmons. Bill, big fan. Great to be here. Now, Agent Simmons, you would have us believe that it is in our best interest to formally take sides in this so-called alien civil war? Well, the other side wanted to spank us for breakfast, so I wouldn't exactly call it a toss-up. These Decepticons are lethal. But polls show half the world would feel safer with the Autobots completely gone. Get them out of here! We don't need them here! I feel safer when I sleep with a hand grenade. Doesn't mean I'm always right. Now, Agent, here's the fact that we have obtained documents that show you couldn't they have at least gotten like Alex Jones? Severe delusional tendency. This is ambush journalism. You want the truth about the alien alliance? Buy my book. Don't. Alan. What kind of? What are you doing here? Apollo, Moon, aliens, cover up. You're a genius, friends. Oh. Do we really need comedy relief here? Oh, God. Bay! Hi. I hear you. I get it. Where are you taking my bunny? Stop! Why the hell is she upset with him? I could sleep last night, and then it hit me. No, Sam wants to be in danger. He doesn't know who he is without I just want to matter. He mattered to me. I can, I can handle this. Can you? You can promise it? I promise. Sam, I don't want to lose you, and I know where this leads. I'm not ready for this. Are you coming with me? I can't. Understand why she's leaving him. Where is I tracked him down here? So he's caused what the fuck? Why? why? Ringo, I got a match. What kind of fucking binoculars are those? Trinoculars? What? A of the international language. Dutch, give me something tough. Where is the call? We do speak English. Dutch. We suck. No. It's a Cyrillic alphabet. It's like all the buttons you never push on a calculator. Alan! I don't suck. I'm so sorry. That is the old me. Okay, let's everybody just calm down. Let's lower the heat, lower the guns, let's relax. World War II is over. We're about to see World War II? Soviet secrets. 
Uh, you mean the Cold uh, War? First to send men to the moon, but USSR first to send camera. Mr. Ricky, I thought I made it clear to you that I did not want you calling this phone. Listen, the whole thing has been set up since the beginning. Then how the hell did he get her number? Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear to it. Really? Why is this being shot in slow motion? Fucking screaming. What? What the fuck? Oh yeah. Just throw him into a building. So much for it, you hit him. I hereby discharge you from duty. Okay, if he's evil, why the hell did he turn down the Matrix of Leadership? At least take it for crime. But he's just disintegrating. Just go to the back. Stand down. Hey, Sentinel. What is going on? What do you think you're doing? I'm a bride. How stupid is this woman? Exactly. Why the hell is Optimus Prime going back here instead of trying to track down? Sentinel Prime! Yeah, take a look, Optimus! This is all on you! Sentinel hit the ball. Oh, bullshit! Again, how stupid is this woman? Go to find the hunter in the first airborne. We need to hunt this thing down. Prime, why aren't you going to chase him? Uh, now, Sam's. What? Marley. Sam, we're having a family meeting. Family meeting. You may oh, not for fuck's sake! Perfectly happy. You know, there was a time in our marriage when I thought this was not going to work out. I'm Can just please trying to understand. Damaging. You break up with one world-class hottie. No, stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Yeah. Okay. She dumped me. I moved on to something better. That's it. I'm a well, happier that's person. A beautiful girl. Why you loser? They what had an argument. You're a good-looking kid, but you're not uh, going to get a third one. I mean, unless you have like a big. What the fuck, mom? 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 What your look? You're Doesn't always wrong. Get used to it. Okay, this, you gotta read this. She comes first. There's some... Fact. He was meant to run the... How the hell do they not know that they are giant they robots on the mall the and at the Lincoln Memorial? We needed Prime and his Matrix. Excellent strategy. Again! So why did not fucking Sentinel Prime get the fucking Matrix when Optimus offered it to him? Unless he swapped it. Now but I'm pretty sure he Optimus would have noticed that. So impressive. They need to be transported from the moon to Earth? The fuck? Uh, uh. In the first movie, the Autobots came down as like meteorites. 
What the hell? On Cybertron we were gods, and here they call us machines. Let the humans serve us or perish. Cybertron, you were Look gods. I didn't kill you. In time, you'll see. It's not over. Uh, on Cybertron, they were gods. On Cybertron, they were the only living things. <laughs> Too direct? Was it just me? So, Big surprise, he's working with the deceptive ones. You know why we've not been back to the moon since 1972? Because these two, they came to my dad and they told him to do some creative accounting. They get way too expensive to ever go back. So he and others shut down the American and Russian space programs and they've been our clients ever since. You know, BULLSHIT! It's not like I personally participate. I am a liaison. I liaise. It's hostile takeover time, Sam. Okay, why are there no Autobots with him right now? I thought he was supposed to be under Autobot protection. What is this? Tentacle porn? The one spy I've never been able to provide is someone close to the Autobots. Yeah, I really don't see how I could be of any help. I mean, you guys seem pretty busy. We could just do this another time, I think. I have yeah. to me to do at every turn. What? You warned us that's that they were using nuts. humans, and you knew that Sentinel was the key. Yeah, that that's not suspicious oh, at all. Hey, suspicious at all, the bots flying around everywhere. <laughs> oh, for God. fuck's sake! Michael Bay! You right? Fuck you! Yeah. It's official. It's a go, people! These are our allies. The Autobots fought for us. They fought with and us. And where are we now? Facing an enemy invasion. With an enemy <laughs> that has the means to deploy countless more. Oh! Michael Bay, you're fucking stupid! ...the enemy's intentions. Its name is the Xanthium. It brought the second wave of Autobots, and it's been under NASA's care and study ever since. We linked it with a decommissioned shuttle to maintain military control until the time. Your booty looks excellent. Oh, for fuck's sake. You ever say a word to anyone about what happened that night in Quantico? I'll cut your heart out. You already did. So they've attached the space shuttle to the Autobot ship. They can make it to the moon and back in order to maintain military control. How the fuck is this supposed to work? I know this is going back what to a, leaders say is true. I, one of the original series fault. episodes, but... I told them whom to trust. Good. I was so wrong. That doesn't make it your fault, it just makes you human. Good patient. God. Remember this. You may lose your faith in us, but never in yourselves. Your leaders have spoken. From here... Why not talk to the leaders of another country? Duh. Nice to see they toned down the racism too. Make it like it was. You will always be my friend, Sam. Another freaking Star Trek reference. Fuck you, Michael Bay. How many times have I said that to me? I'm sorry, the camera's here. I'm talking to the screen from now, to my video ask. image over here. Where were you when Fuck you, you Michael time? Bay. So how long until the Decepticons throw something out the space shuttle to blow it up? 
and again. They can reach the fucking moon in that shuttle, and yet, and their spacecraft, and yet they've got a shuttle attached to the damn thing? that they would go without a fight. No shit, Sherlock. Oh fuck, no. No. sworn they were going to replay the images from the Challenger explosion, but at least, at least they didn't fucking do that. At least they had enough taste to not fucking do that. Is it really too much to ask? For a movie called Transformers, to be about giant robots fighting each other with, you know, some mention of humans, as opposed to it being human-centric. Bombers were just knocked out of the sky. They can't get through enemy air defenses over the city. Our satellites have been jammed. We have no way to monitor the enemy's movement. Our own nest teams are on By the way, I wonder if Cisco sponsored any of this movie. We have special forces trying to gain access to the city. And infantry is staging at the perimeter. Excuse me, excuse me, it just doesn't make sense. Can't we get any eyes in there at all? They keep shooting down our drones. They want us blind. But we do have a couple oh, of shit. Try. If you go in this building, that's if she's even still alive. There's no way you're gonna be able to reach her. Well, just like you. Uh, it's over. I'm sorry, but it's over. Yeah, just kneel down and accept it. It's not as if you're special ops trying to run, trained on being, you know, covert. How the fuck do they know they're there? Don't they need these people to be, you know, slaves? Your leaders will now understand. Decepticons will never leave your planet alone. And we needed them to believe we had gone. For today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. Uh, I'm sorry, Peter Cullen, even you can't make that sound convincing. Big target symbol over his crotch. Our only chance is the element of surprise. I think I know where to look. I think you just ruined your element of surprise by taking out that force. You think they're not gonna notice that you know they got shot down? Poor kid. Oh, for fuck's sake. Probably never got close. And it would be wise to remember the difference. Supposed to have heard them or something? What was the point of her looking out? Oh, yeah, these are some observant servants. Where is she? Where is she? You've got some balls. Yeah, no shit.
so much for the element of surprise. Dead. The way that crashed, he's dead. What kind of piss poor perimeter do they have set up that the Autobots can get in just like that? Flashing their Autobot symbols and everything and armed to the teeth. Question, how is this supposed to win them the war? Listen up. You wanna hit back? We're gonna have to wingsuit in. It's the only way to get close. I mean all it does is transport stuff. If you don't have the stuff to transport, the world needs you now. How are you gonna win? If I'm on ride home, sir. Who else? Oh look, everybody in the military volunteers. Big surprise. We're gonna save the planet. Woohoo! Again, how are the Decepticons not noticing these cars driving through the streets? There we go. Okay. Fucking fighter jets were shot down earlier. And they're going in with Osprey helicopters. How the fuck do they expect to get in there without getting shot down like it just happened? City. Oh yeah, now instead of being in a helicopter, you're falling down unprotected by any armor of any, any kind. The Decepticons were actually smart, they'd just be shooting you out of the sky. You know, they're robots, you know, bang bang, bullets. They don't really seem to care about collateral damage. Oh, so you're sailing down into the city in sky suits. In formation? How the hell are you not being shot out of the sky? What kind of armor do you have on those things? This is so fucking stupid! Oh yeah, fight their home in the building! Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! What are they exactly... Oh yeah, now you're slowing yourself down with parachutes. The only reason this is working is because the Decepticons are fucking incompetent. How the fuck did... Where the fuck did this armor come from? Where does this armament come from? Is this the stuff that the Autobots brought in with them? I mean, they're shooting... When they started shooting at the building, it was already leaning at about what looked like a 30 degree angle. It's leaning more than that now. The floor doesn't match the building, is what I'm saying here. Why? Shoot down the fucking building! Okay, how do you 
expect to get out of this building that's art? Oh, just jump out of the glass. And what now? Slide down the building. They're sliding down a building that's just about to collapse. The stairs are blocked. The, the building's at a 45 fucking degree angle. How is it still standing? Okay. The teleporter thing, the devices with the pillars and all that, that's supposed to defy our laws of physics. This is defying the laws of fucking physics! No, I'm sorry, they're all dead! Standing there, like that. No! No, it's already on the ground! What the hell is he using to fly? Are these jet fires first from Revenge of the Fallen? Explain, movie! Explain! Optimus Prime has wings now! Okay! Whatever! Got aliens blasting at me, running around chasing me. I'm ducking from churches and buildings and all that kind of crap, man. This is bullshit. I ain't signed up for this house. Yes, you did. You volunteered for this stupid mission. Transform into a fucking jet. You moron! Well... I'm sorry Bumblebee, but they were both dead long before this. How did those two get into one of those things? That was never shown. Tom Hawks are inbound. Oh my god, we're helpless. What did start to happen with those pulses getting No shit, Sherlock. Of course you're helpless. You simply fail to understand that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Activating the grid. Fuck you, Michael Bay! That, that doesn't even work! There are more humans than there are Decepticons or Autobots. We are the many. They are the few. Our needs outweigh theirs. Fuck you! But not for me, I need Leonard! Bridge. How could you say that? Why did you agree to say that? Pleasure working with you, Seymour. And by the way, how did the Autobots get captured? Nice of you to show us that! Ugh, oh, fuck's sake. Prisoners? You're keeping prisoners? You need to teach them without respect. This was all business, but now it's personal. Do you understand me? <laughs> I understand. No prisoners, only trophies. 
be. I think they're going to kill us. Oh, you. Your time is... Wait, wait, wait. We shall end you. We're your prisoners. Move it. Can we talk this out? We're all a bunch of good chaps. I need... The human has to bring that up? Wait. We had a nice one for yeah. you and me. We might die. You know what, given what the humans have survived, I'm pretty sure that really your brain isn't survived that. Snipers, take out their eyes. Alright, demo team, let's crank steel. Again, the only reason the humans are doing anything is because the Decepticons are fucking incompetent! Good. Yeah. How the hell are you gonna help? No. 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 She is not just calmly walking, staring off into space down the center of the street, while all this shit is blowing up around her. No. All you have to do to reactivate that thing is slap it? What the hell? Cybertron. I thought only Sentinel Prime could operate this damn thing. Okay, where are the earthquakes and the tsunamis and all that shit coming from Cybertron being that close to the Earth? Come to surrender. Why is Megatron even paying attention to her? He's never dealt with her before. Who would you be without me, Prime? Time to find out. off Megatron's head and spine with an axe through it. Optimus, all I ever wanted was the survival of our race. You must see why I had to betray you. You didn't betray me. You betrayed yourself. Sense. Megatron would still want to be on the winning side. He'd wait for his side to win and then take fucking control. God. That's too so stupid. And yet another movie. Surrounded by destruction and then a passionate kiss. At least this time it kind of makes sense. You're the only thing I need in this world. I'll do anything to make it up to you, I promise. I'm gonna hold you to that. Just never let me go. Promise. <laughs>
Plus, you're telling me he doesn't need those gears? In any war, there are calms between storms. You fought bravely. There will be days when we lose faith. Days when our allies I feel like I have to salute the tattered American flag. the day will never come. I'm Canadian. That we forsake this planet and its people. Do you feel cold? Fuck you, Michael Bay! Oh, God. It is... Oh, wait. What's that? Oh. That's what I call the start of a beautiful... Forced romantic interest. Arrest him. It was worth it. Get him out. I'll go to jail for love. I don't care. All right, take me in. I'm going to go in. Let's go in. It was better than Revenge of the Fallen, but that's like saying that horse shit doesn't make as big a pile as elephant shit. That was still pretty fucking horrible. Oh. Ellen Tudyk. Why? Leonard, why did you dis why did you say that line? God. I I think the movie killed more brave cells than the alcohol. Oh. I don't care if there's any other post-credit scenes. I honestly don't. I'm stopping this right now. Oh, fuck. I am very glad I did not pay any money to see that in theater. And given that they've cast... What's her name? From freaking The Last Airbender, that girl, to be in the next movie, Avatar, the second worst film I've ever paid money to see, ahead of Revenge of the Fallen. No, I, I have absolutely no desire to see Transformers 4. None. None whatsoever. And I weep. I weep for the Ninja Turtles. And I, I wasn't a huge Ninja Turtles fan. I was a little too old. I mean, I watched the cartoon. I played the first Nintendo game. But it was my brother who was into the toys. But still. I have enough nostalgia for them that... That... I, if he does this to Transformers, which was, yes, it's a, kind of a ridiculous premise, but at least kind of makes a little sense, he's taking mutant ninja turtles and turning them into aliens. Aliens. Okay. But back to Transformers. <sighs> that was a mess of a movie. Nothing made any logical sense whatsoever. I... I... Here. These were mostly full. They're both empty now. I've got that much left. And that's still not enough to dull the pain. 
I hope this was somewhat enjoyable. I'll talk to you folks later.